As a diehard Celtics fan of about 10 years plus, it kills me that I have to make this video, but it needs to be said because the 2008 Celtics and NBA 2K18 are a trap. Of course, they have good players like Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, but the fact that Rajon Rondo is playing point guard for this team really kills the value because Rajon Rondo has the ability to ruin any 2K game he's a part of. You might think I'm joking or I'm exaggerating, but I'm being dead serious. I've played the 08 Celtics many times online and I haven't come close to losing to them yet because there's just no way around the defensive strategy you can use against this team. So just like in real life where Rondo really isn't as good as he once was because the NBA has changed so much and point guards really have to be able to shoot, in NBA 2K18 you can exploit this to a level that almost causes the Celtics to be a broken team. So in this video you're going to look at about 4 different gameplays of times that I played the Celtics and each one you're going to see me using the point guard for the most part to completely disrupt the Celtics because Rondo is no threat. He's not going to hit a 3 pointer, he's not going to hit a mid range so I can play so far off of him. That helps because Ray Allen has a lethal 3 point shot and Paul Pierce can score off the dribble. Well, if you're able to take your point guard and play help defense on both of them, there's almost nothing he can do, especially when he wants to pass down low to Kevin Garnett, and we all know how glitchy the post is in this game, so if he's going to go down there, he's going to start dropping the ball, and when he can't get his post move off, he might start looking to pass the ball, and then you can intercept it in a passing lane. There's just so many ways to disrupt it that Rondo really ruins his game plan. Another thing that doesn't help is that 2K makes life really difficult when you're trying to make layups. So as the games go on, normally what the opponent tries to do is they notice that I'm playing really far for Rondo and that further causes them to break their offense because instead of running plays they're trying to get the ball to somebody else, they try to take advantage of the space I give them and they try to go straight to the rim with Rondo. Well, since I'm already hanging back with the point guard, the paint is going to be clogged and like I said earlier, it's already hard to make layups as is so there's a great chance they're going to start missing those layups and get really frustrated or even better, they start trying to make the mid range jumper with Rondo because they see how disrespectful I'm being. That's good because Rondo just can't shoot and they won't accept that so they start missing him as you're gonna see in this video and before you know it I'm up 10 to 20 points because he's not running a regular offense it's really kind of impossible to. So when the opponent figures out that I'm not gonna let them distribute the ball with Rondo they normally start trying to use another ball handler and I'm gonna use the arrow to try to point out where I am when I'm playing off ball because normally what happens is Rondo goes and stands in a corner or you know it doesn't really matter where he's standing. The fact that he can't shoot means I can use that point guard to guard wherever the ball is so if he gives it to Ray Allen I can go double if I see him drive into the rim with Pierce, I can go intercept it and I can steal the ball, I can block it. So many things can happen. As you're going to see, it was just really disruptive. So in the Play Now series I'm doing, I've already played with the Celtics, I just haven't made the video for them yet, so that's going to come pretty far from now because I believe I'm still in the 90s. But apparently people don't know Rondo is this big a liability because in the games I played, nobody really stood off of him that far. But I'm assuming I'm going to run into that problem one day if I use the OA Celtics because it's just way too easy to exploit. So if you're wanting to use Boston and you think this is going to drive you away from it, here's some tips. First of all, never let Rajon Rondo get in the game with Tony Allen and Leon Poe. This completely kills your spacing because that's three players who can't hit a shot to save their life. That makes the OA Celtics really easy to guard because whatever resources of offense you have on the floor at the time, they're going to get doubled, they're going to get trapped, and there's going to be nowhere to go because none of those guys are really going to give you offense. In the 08 Celtics episode you're going to see from me, another thing I would probably recommend is trying to go a little bit with small ball. So if you can have KG at center or maybe James Posey at power forward, that gives you the ability to stretch the flow as far as possible and avoid what you're seeing in the video right now. I'm already playing off a of Rondo so far as is, but if there's a second or third player on the floor that can't shoot the ball, I'm just going to pack more players into the middle and you're never going to beat me. Next, make use of the pick and roll offense. That's the simplest play in basketball and it can really help here because even if somebody is playing off of you, there's opportunities you can get there. For example, if you're going to have Kevin Garnett and Rondo in a pick and roll, you got to remember that KG can hit a mid-range shot. So if you were to set that to fade and you were to drive in, chances are KG is probably going to get left open because at that point the defender is probably going to worry about Rondo getting to the rim so there's a way for you to get some offense there. Again like I said earlier if you play small ball and you're running that same thing with James Posey that's a wide open three. And lastly, if you notice the level of disrespect that you see in this video, make sure Rondo is cutting to the key. It's a really simple thing to open your play menu and call a cut to the key for Rajon Rondo, so if somebody's playing off of him, of course you're going to have to kind of get the angles right because chances are the defender might be expecting that and they can pick the pass, but again, I'm being super duper disrespectful because some of these opponents, they just weren't demonstrating that they knew how to stop what I was doing. But if it was me, I would be sending Rondo to the key at something to draw fouls because you just can't allow him to be an absolute liability like you see here. Because if you allow your defender to play 5 on 4, your chances of winning the game are over. So that's just a quick video I wanted to put together of how John Rondo can potentially ruin any game of 2K he's in. 
You saw plenty of examples in the video and I gave you some tips on how you might be able to stop this. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment and subscribe and hit the bell next to my name if you want notifications on future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.